Flow Truck here with CJ, CJ Albertson of Brooks, uh, 209.53 today at the Boston Marathon, yeah. <laughs> seventh overall. Yeah. Um, what, what are your immediate feelings from you know the day today for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it felt good. That was like kind of, with the shape that I was in, that was kind of like what I felt I could, I could run on a decent day. Um, and yeah, like I said, like kind of top five was like kind of like dream goal. Um, top 10 I was going to be happy with so 7th was was you know really good and, and looking at the looking at the overall finishes um, top 5 wasn't going to happen it was just I wasn't uh, you know in that in that shape so I mean and the next guy even 6 was like a minute and 40 seconds ahead of me so 7th was probably the best possible outcome for today so and I did that <laughs> the way the marathon went out at the start the way the, the pace kind of moved pretty quickly early on did that mm -hmm. change the way the race played out for everyone or for you uh, I think it actually worked out for me because yep. it, it went out fast enough that uh, a second group formed of guys that were that were pretty good um, which I was scared of that there wasn't gonna be a second group and I was gonna either have to go with the front group or just run by myself the whole time but um, because they went out you know fast enough some good guys uh, you know held held back just I mean we we're still running at a good pace too but um, it allowed us to have a good group to work with and uh, the group kind of fell apart a little bit earlier than I anticipated um, but at least for 10 miles I at least got a group and then from about 10 or 11 miles on just you know ran by myself to the finish and yeah but it was fun I mean you you've probably done that before being tough on a, on a course like this on a day like this I mean wh wh where, where what experience what has experience taught you when you kind of were running by yourself kind of having to work those those miles alone uh, yeah I mean I think the biggest thing in a marathon is just like to not run too hard you know a lot of times like when you feel good or, or just like the race mentality you feel like you have to push um, but in a marathon like you, you are pushing like whether you feel like feel like it or not so like you actually have to feel like you're you're kind of holding back a little bit so like when I'm running by myself it's like okay um, you know sometimes I feel good and then like you're tempted to kind of push a couple miles but it's like no I'm just gonna like kind of kind of stay in that zone and even like the last you know last like five miles or so like it's tempting just to like take off but um, you kind of just have to like stay within that zone where it feels like you're not running that hard yeah. and, but obviously you are you're basically running like right at the line of yeah. what's what's sustainable yeah. um, but I've just done that so many times and done it in so many long runs that I can kind of be in that zone where it feels like I'm not really trying but I'm still running fast um, but then I can just kind of be consistent you were 14th at the halfway point and you moved up to seventh um, did you get a sense of that or did it just feel like that came <laughs> naturally to you? I had no, I mean, I had no idea what place I was in. I know yeah. the lead pack had quite a few guys in it uh, when they when they first started. Um, and I knew some guys would drop out that I wouldn't see. So, but I didn't know how many guys were dropping out and I lost track of how many guys I was passing. So it was really hard to know what place I was in. At one point I thought like, maybe I'm gonna be like top five because like I like, like because counting. like I, I was yeah. passing like kind of a lot of people um, and I didn't know how many people dropped out and no one was really telling me my place I thought some guy had told me my place like er, like early on but I think he was wrong yeah um, but yeah so I really honestly had no idea but I knew I was in top 10 or I thought I had to be because I'm like and I knew the guys I was passing so I'm like this you know, this this is like bib number five. This has been like you know, it was like top bib numbers. So I knew I had to be somewhat up yeah. there. Yeah, you're just staying locked in mentally, kind of being there in that place. Yeah. Um, is this the best Boston performance you've had? Would you say? Or, yeah, I mean, yeah. best time-wise, uh, first time being South American, and best place-wise, my best was tenth before this, and I was seventh. So best in every every way to look at it. Yeah, going under two ten to that's your PR, correct? Yeah. Ten oh fifty three. I mean. Um, I guess as it, it, do you have another marathon in you this year or do you uh, feel like you'll Yeah, go? this year, I mean, it's like April, so right. <laughs> yeah, so no, like, no, yeah, no, I'll, I'll race, uh, but definitely before the year is up, Okay. but I, I don't have anything, um, you know, signed and set right now, right but, now, yeah. um, yeah, I'll have another race. Okay. Wait until the fall. Okay. Uh, how do you celebrate? Obviously yeah, your wife's here, your, your daughter's here, I think. Right? Yeah. Yep. Um, just um, laying, laying on the floor. Really. <laughs> how are you going to celebrate? Uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not a huge, so just 
hang out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, TJ, thank you so much. Really All appreciate right. it. Yep.